So the little silver things on these pedals, what are they called? Pedal pins? Think again. I absolutely love flat pedals. I think they are so versatile. And as you've probably seen on previous videos, I've been going and experimenting with, with clipless shoes. Um, but I love these things because, like I said, you can just jump on the bike, whatever footwear you're wearing. Have you ever bought uh, a second-hand bike? Maybe you've had your bike for a while and, and these pins are starting to wear down and you're looking to replace them. And you go into your local bike shop and they don't have the correct size of pin or maybe the um, they're just not in stock. Maybe you bought a cheap pedal off, uh, off Amazon or eBay and you just think, well... I'm just going to replace the pedal because the cost involved in replacing uh, eight of these pins aside. So 16 pins outweighs the cost of the pedal. I've got a little top tip for you. Like I said, these, they're not pedal pins. They're these. Yeah, grub screws. Um, you can buy them in all sorts of sizes. If you're M4 size grub screws, they're eight uh, mil long in this particular set. So if we look in here, I've had this set quite a while. As you can see, they're only M4 ones, so they're going to be the way where the smallest one. They go right up to M10, which are these big boys over here. But as far as I know, and I'm just going to get one out here without knocking a whole lot off, if I can do that, possibly in my very cack-handed way. Are these? Oh, it's just going to stay on the table for me. So if we put them back side by side, they are basically the same sort of screw. Obviously, one silver. That's the difference, and the blue. Um, sort of mark it looks like someone's just painted a bit of blue paint on the one on the right hand side that is a uh, thread lock um quite simply it's just dried um obviously you put thread lock on usually uh, and then screw the bolt or the screw that you're putting into whatever metal product you're putting in and you forget about it that's how it, that's how it sort of dries so obviously they they put that on um on mass and then they start screwing the bolts and then it does exactly the same stuff that's particular stuff because this is a cheap pedal is not doing a great job so i'm going to pop the uh the black screw uh the black rub screw into that to show you how easy it is i can even do that by hand which i'm going to do now it's not the easiest thing to do when you're filming with one hand and you don't want to cross thread these are usual righty tighty lefty loosey nothing fancy like on the on the pedal there that's a video which you can do again but as you can see that's just going in dead easily and as soon as you feel some resistance there that's pretty and all i'd do is nip that up now with a with a suitable um allen key or um hex wrench and that's a two mil fitting in the top of that grub screw um there are other pedals out there on screen are my i think the ns bikes make that pedal and i bought those actually as a replacement of my first set of replacement flat pedals i wanted to upgrade on the giant that you're going to see on this channel um a little bit uh more often than not um in the future um and they are in fact um they've got a different design they're going to be experimenting with those in the future your fingers and the nice thing about if you bought a set of grub screws like that, so you don't need obviously the range of, of uh, sizes, the, the different diameters you can do with M4s with uh, most um, grub screws, which you're going to use pedal pins, um, is that you can do different heights. So if you're finding that maybe your, uh, your pedal pins or your grub screws are not digging into your shoe as much as you like, you can put bigger ones on. And vice versa, if they're digging a little bit too much, like this one. I don't know whether you can pick it up on the shop, but that's just slightly shorter. That is an 8mm compared to, I think, probably a 10mm. Um, and you can actually customise the pedal to suit your needs, which is really cool. Um, if you look on the one in the centre, uh, you can just see that the, the friction um through the pedal getting bashed etc it's slightly deforming the head and when it starts to deform like that what i would say is start to swap them out because you're going to have awful trouble getting a hex key in there it might end up rounding off the head for instance they can get filled with all sorts of dirt and gubbins so maybe just keep an eye on your pins especially if you're planning to keep your pedal on the bike for a long time so that's another hack. It's a great way of doing it. Go on Amazon, eBay, go to your local tools store, support your local uh, hardware store, see if they've got any M4 
grub screws in um, when you've got this specific design of flat pedal. Like I said, there are other flat pedals out there with a different sort of pin setup. I'll be having a look at those in the future. But it's a great hack and it's going to save you a bit of a headache and time and more importantly, money.